Hi, with this tutorial, I'm starting the dev part of Franklin. There are few still conceptual tutorials are left, but I'll talk about those later once you understand how the content and code works in Franklin. So before we get into Franklin project, let's understand how a, any project works, means any technology or anything. For simplicity, let's understand AEM projects work. So first you build code on local and deploy on your local AEM instance. Generally, this has happened with any technology. You verify your changes on your local machine or any sandbox what you have. Then you move your changes to dev, UAT or QA server. I'm assuming those are the lower servers. Then you validate your changes and then finally you move your changes to live site or whatever the prod instance is. So as I have already explained in previous tutorials, Franklin is a serverless ecosystem. Everything is built on edges. So if we don't have servers, then how you will verify your changes before moving on to the prod site? So we'll understand this at a higher level with demo. So what you'll do first, you have a code base, like you have a uh, repo in Git. You create a branch and clone that repo on your local machine. Then you add your changes, push your changes back to GitHub, then make a URL for that specific branch and verify your changes. Once you verify your changes, then you will create a PR to move your changes to the branch, which is actually used for the prod. Let's say main branch is using for the prod. So you will move your changes uh, to main branch using PR. Why PR? This is really important. I'll talk about this later in coming tutorial. So how it will work. Now let's understand with a demo. So this is our repo and I have a main branch. Main branch is used for my website. So what I'll do, I'll create a one more branch here. Let's say local and I'll create it from main because uh, my existing code is in main. Now what I'll do, I'll take this uh, repo on my local. You must be knowing that you can clone using git clone command. So git clone your repo URL. So it will clone. Now what you have to do, go to uh, your branch, check out your branch. So right now, if you check the default branch is main branch. So check out your branch, Okay, check out and branch was local. So now my branch is local. Git branch. Now make your changes inside this branch. Okay, so what changes will make just to understand I will keep it very simple. So intention here is to make you understand how you can make changes. So this we have this page index page means main page. Let's see that. So this is the standard page. What I'll do this I will change the background color of it. So what I'll do I'll just check it where is. So you will see there is a class called main dot section highlight and there is a color. Obviously this color is coming from the variable. I'll keep it very simple. So first let's understand where this color is. So this is in style dot CSS and where that file is. Don't worry. I'll explain everything in detail in coming tutorial. Intention here is to make you understand the process. So it must be here styles here the styles and it was let me open this one more time. It was background color and the class was this. So let me copy this and share, check it here. Okay, so this one. So what I'll do, I will make this change. I will make it yellow, red, red, done. Now you have to commit this change to Git repo. So I will not explain Git here. You can directly go there on UI and you can make changes. It's completely up to you. You can come here in this file and make your changes as per your need. But I will commit from here. So what I do git add and this hyphen now git commit. Git push hyphen hyphen all. Right, so my changes have been committed to my git. So you see the changes has been moved to git and the latest changes are this now. And it is in same file. So it's up to you. How do you want to make a change here? Important part is different. So important part is how you will verify. So this is my page. So let me refresh this page again. Right now, ideally, the color should be red. 
right because we change that color so but here the color should be red but this is not happening now there is a difference we are still referring here the main branch but our changes our changes are there in local branch so that's how you should verify your changes so now you will create a url using local branch local branch code so and how it will work so first part here in url is your branch so what i'll do i'll say local now this content will be referring to my branch and what is my branch where i have changes that is local so i hit now it should read see it is been changes has been reflected but where are you seeing those changes you are seeing those changes with this local branch code right so that way you can verify your changes so even we don't have servers here we don't have lower environment like qa dev and uat but you can test your changes with different branch so create branch and verify once your changes are done once you're okay with the changes then you can move your code to main branch because main branch is used for production it's up to you whatever branch you are using for production move that there now but there is a problem now we know how you verify on how the code is moved problem is when you move let's say you are making changes multiple times so every time you have to move your changes to get to see your effect I means see your changes so there must be something so that you can verify on your local means your changes let's say if you are able to verify your changes on your local machine instead of committing those code or pushing those code to git so for simplicity i had these steps i was creating branch adding my changes pushing uh, my code to github and i will verify and then i can merge but you should know here if i can make any step here if i can verify on my local in this step right i will make my changes and am i able to verify my changes on my local so if i am able to do it that will be great help because i will commit the code in once when i have uh, you know once i'm done with my all changes so yes you can do it now for this step you can set up a local development environment for your local machine and that is pretty straightforward so set up a local development environment for franklin is very straightforward what you need is only node you should have node installed on your machine so check node hyphen v and npm hyphen v on your machine and you should see a version if you did not install node just install node first again i'm saying store install node first before these steps once you have installed node you just need to install a package called adobe slash am cli this is called cl at am cli or adobe cli this is used for franklin once you install and you are good to go that's it create a you know clone this branch which you have already done clone a copy of your repo which you have already done so the first step second step you are already done and the third step go to your directory or the other folder where you have code and just hit am up it will spin up a node server for you and you can verify your changes on local let's see how it will work so first of all install this globally and how globally means hyphen gene uh, notify like you are installing it globally you may get some errors if your terminal or command prompt doesn't have enough permissions so on windows you can open your command prompt in a administrator mode so in a nutshell after you know while installing this you shouldn't get any error that's it you should have installed this properly if you do not install this uh, as a global in that case it will be available only for the user who actually install it so if someone else is working on your machine if you are switching user for that switched user that won't be available so ideally install this as a global so let's hit this command and that's it so you will see i got an error and i got a error because i don't have permission i am installing this as a global means global package but i don't have permission so you might get this kind of error on your both machines either you are on mac linux or windows so what i'll do i'll log in here as a root in windows you can open that terminal means command from as a administrator 
so I am able to install properly still you see error these errors are saying you have already installed so I had already installed that's why I'm getting error in your case you won't get any error now now let me close this first so now move to the code base uh, folder wherever you are move your terminal or command prompt till there on root so you should be in root folder so if you check here my root folder is eds under which all the files are there now you have to do only this thing aem and hyphen up that's it that's the one command and that's it see now new server has been started and what do you see here is localhost colon 3000 so now this server is running on my local machine that's it now even if you see the changes are here now what i'll do the same code base i have opened here right here now i'll make change here right i'm not moving anything to git let's say make it yellow let me rewrite that right that's it i just saved it i did not do anything if i open that same window again see the yellow even i did not refresh this i did not reload this uh, tab itself but still the changes are reflected i did not move anything to git so that way you can verify on your local machine once you are done with all the changes you can move your changes once in your local branch means your feature branch and once you are verified on your server as well then you can move your changes to your final branch which is main or whatever the branch you are being used for the prod I hope you understood. If you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.